Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. Robinson again, and we're going to continue our studies. We are talking about the Pythagorean theorem again, but this time we're going to deal with word problems. So you remember in our previous video, the Pythagorean theorem, it, said, it states that in any right triangle, the sum of the squares to the lengths of the legs is equal to the square of the length of the hypotenuse. And that's a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where we have this side we can call b, and this side we can call a, and those were legs, and the c side is the longest side of the, uh, the right triangle, which we call the hypotenuse. Remember, it is opposite the right angle. Now, usually, when it goes up and down, we call that the altitude, and this the bottom, the base, but it doesn't make a difference. Why is that? Because if we rotate it, you'll notice that the altitude is here now, and the base is down there. So rotation makes a difference, but the C side is still opposite of the right angle. So let's get into our word problem. So here's our first one. Here we have a diver swims 20 meters underwater to the place where a buoy is anchored 10 meters below the surface of the water. On the surface, how far is the buoy located from the place where the diver submerged? Round your answer to the nearest meter. Okay. Well, let's see, we have a buoy here, we have a diver, and there's down there, there's the anchor. So let's deal with some of the things that we have here. So we have the diver swims 20 meters underwater to a place where the buoy is anchored 10 meters below the surface of the water. So how far is the buoy located from the place where the diver submerged? Okay, so let's draw a few lines here. Get the line tool. So we have a diver right here, and he submerged. So that means he went down to the anchor, they say. So he went down there, and let's see, a diver swims 20 meters underwater. So if he's going underwater, that means he's going down to where the buoy is anchored. There's the anchor down there, so he's going down there. So I'm going to say down this will give me 20 meters. So let's write that there. So there's our first line. Now let's see what else we got. The buoy is anchored 10 meters below the surface of the water. So here is the anchor, and it's going to be anchored 10 meters below the surface of the water. So our water is here, so down here is where the anchor is. So I got another line that I'm going to add on 10 more meters. So I have another distance, 10 meters. So let's see, so what else do we have left? So how far is the buoy, here's the buoy, located from the place where the diver submerged? So this gives us our last line right there. So we want to know how far. They didn't say how far it is, so we can call that x. Because we don't know how far it is. Now if you notice, we seem to form a right angle right here with this buoy, the water, the uh, depth or height of where it is, the anchor, and the buoy and the water. So there's a right angle that's formed here. So we want to find the value of x. And let's see what we got because we got our good old Pythagorean theorem to help us out. So we got our right angle right here, and we have our side opposite the right angle, which is here, so that makes this our C side, and we have our two legs here, so this could be leg A, 
and this will be leg B. And if you remember the formula, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So let's fill in what we know. We know that C is equal to 20. And we got to square that. B, we don't know, so we'll leave that. B squared. A, we know is 10, and we square that. 10 squared is 10 times 10, which is 100, plus B squared, which we don't know. And 20 squared is 20 times 20, which is 400. So now, let's solve for B. So let's minus 100 from both sides, minus 100, minus 100, 400 minus 100 is 300, our 100 is over here canceled out, leaving us with B squared equals 300. So now all we have to do is take the square root of both sides, so let's take the square root of this side and the square root of that side, and the B will be coming out of there because the square root and square canceled out, and our answer will be the square root of 300. So that's what the distance is going to be, but it said round your answer to the nearest meter. So let's get our calculator to help us out because we don't know the square root of 300, so. So let's type second, square root button, and then type 300 in there. Press enter. Uh, ooh, I have it in different notation, so let me just quickly change my mode to classic. So let's go down to classic, because that's radical form. That'd be nice if we were dealing with some higher mathematics. So let's take that again. Second, square root, 300 equals 17.3. Two zero five zero eight zero eight zero eight. So um, we got to round this off to the nearest meter, nearest whole number. So our whole number would be seventeen point three. We go over one space after the decimal, and we would round it off to our answer of seventeen. Because remember, if it's five or above, give it a shove. If it's four or below, leave it alone. Let it go. So B is equal to 17 meters. And that would be our answer. So that was a good word problem. So let's just double check, see what we got under my box. Yeah, 17 meters. Notice I used a different formula as opposed to the Pythagorean theorem, but this is just another way of doing the Pythagorean theorem when you're looking for a leg, so you might want to use it in advance. It's A, if you, or the leg equals the square root of the hypotenuse squared minus the other leg squared. I just substituted my numbers. There's my 400 minus 100, gave me the square root of 300. There's my 17.3205, and there's the rest of that over there. And I rounded it off, and I got 17. So that was a good question. So check your understanding, see if you understand it so far, because word problems can be difficult, so you may need to watch the video again. Write down your questions, bring them in, I'll be glad to solve them. Here's a question for you about the Little Pony Daycare Center has a rectangular fence play area behind their building. The play area is 30 meters long and 20 meters wide. Fine to the nearest meter, the length of a pathway that runs along the diagonal of the play area. 
So this is a good question, and you need to know what a diagonal is. So let me just get my line tool one more time and draw a diagonal. It goes from one corner to the opposite corner, and there is your diagonal. So hopefully you should be able to realize what is the length of this pathway here. So hopefully your Pythagorean theorem will help you out. So check your understanding. If you understand so far, great. If you don't, write down your questions. I'll be here to answer them in the morning. Here's another question for you. It's about a ladder. We get these from the state test. So they always like to talk about the ladder. An 18-foot ladder leans against the wall of a building. There's a wall down there. There's the ladder on the ground. The base of the ladder is nine feet from the building on level ground. How many feet up the wall to the nearest length of the foot is the top of the ladder? Okay, so we got a lot of stuff going on here. So I'm going to just help you a little bit just, just to get you started. So it says an 18 foot ladder leans against the wall. So we got a ladder that's 18 feet. So let's right next to the ladder 18 and it says the ladder is nine feet from the building on the ground here's the ground down here and from the wall to here is nine feet so they want to know how many feet up the wall so how many feet up the wall to the nearest foot, tenth of a foot. So there's your triangle, if you see it. And it's a right triangle at that. See if you can use your Pythagorean theorem to help you solve that word problem and round it off to the nearest tenth of a foot. So check your understanding. Oh, here's another question. Oh, this is about a satellite. Well, this is really good. So we'll talk about this one so you take your time and read it i'm going to pause right now and sign off because i think you had a lot of reading to do so i hope you enjoyed the questions if you have questions write them down please bring them in i'll be glad to answer them in class see you tomorrow